goal. The fake with the inside handoff. Cannell's going to run for the touchdown. Touchdown, Florida State. Jeff Bichelle here along with 1995 ACC Player of the Year, Danny Cannell. And Danny, we look back over the years, some of the great moments you had at Florida State. And I know one memory in particular, perhaps the moment Florida State fans remember the most, the choke at the dope. Yeah, that was a special one for me. And anytime I'm doing a Florida State event at Boosters or going back to games, everybody always comes up and everybody's like, oh, it was 31 to 3 and I didn't leave. But I looked up in those stands and there were a lot of empty seats. And the more I hear about it, I'm like, man, there must have been 150,000 people at that game. Yes, that score is right. Florida 31, Florida State 3. Be honest, at 31 to 3, what were you thinking though? And I just wanted to make the game respectable. That's all I kept saying to the guys is, hey, let's not get embarrassed at home. So the first score, you're like, all right, okay, we're making it respectable. The fullback oh. touchdown, Seminole. Second score was still was like, okay. And then that's when the crowd started to get into it. The defense started to feed off the offense. That's when we really thought a chance when we went down 14. Before that, it was, man, let's just, let's just make the score reasonable. And how much would overtime make a difference in our memories of this game? Yeah, I, I still think we should have gone for two because it was 31-30, and Mark Rick had actually told me a two-point play. We were going to run 30 trap to Zach Crockett. We had scored early in the game on that same play. And so we scored, and I'm telling everybody, stay on the field, stay on the field. And yet I look over, and Coach Bowden, he just has one finger. He's like, nope. He's like, kick it. And uh, I, we were this close to getting a first down and having a Hail Mary because that day – I don't think anybody would have stopped us for another drive. We would have scored for sure. Yeah, it was an incredible game. And of course, I don't blame Bowden at all for saying, hey, we came back this far. We're not going to lose it on a two-point conversion. That's why he's the best ever. <laughs> I mean, because he was the smart enough to do that. We were all emotional. Let's do it. He had the wisdom to sit back and say, all right. And then his quote after the game was great. He's like, it is a pretty dang good win. I mean, time. <laughs> like he thought it was a win, and we did too. And if you looked at Florida, you knew they felt like it was a loss. Hey, Danny Greenell, great memories. Thanks.